Hey, fun fact, if getting to sleep were an Olympic event, I would probably be a national champion. Stay tuned, I'll tell you how I'm able to get to sleep and how you might be able to get through insomnia. Yes, it's true. I am one of those people who can very easily, under just about any situation, when I need to sleep, I can close my eyes and go straight to sleep. I actually have a system that I want to share with you. Now, uh, what's happened is uh, my wife, she is in a terrible insomniac. She is late at night playing on her phone because she can't sleep. When she didn't have a phone, she was reading. She's just waiting for sleep to overtake her. And she asked me to show her how to get to sleep. And it's worked perfectly. Now, be aware, this is a successful experiment with a sample size of only two, my wife and I. Your results may vary, but I wanna share with you the steps that I use and that I've instructed her to use to get to sleep. Step one, decide that you're going to rest first and sleep second. If you set that in your mind, and this is what I told my wife, make a decision if you're going into bed that whether or not you can sleep, decide to rest. I have noticed that there are times when I am awake or mostly awake or only partly asleep, but honestly, in those moments, I don't care. My intent while I am laying horizontal in the bed is to rest my mind, to rest my body. So make that commitment. That's the very first thing you have to do. And what happens is regardless of what you experience, once you've set that in your mind, you're going to spend that time resting, whether you're asleep or not. You're, you will still get some quality rest out of it. Step two, relax. What that means is intentionally set your mind, once you've agreed to rest, that you will focus on relaxing. Pay attention and go through every muscle of your body. Do what is referred to as a progressive relaxation process. As you go through every muscle, relax it. Then go through the next, the next, the next, and the next. Often, You'll find you're carrying tension and you just have to let it go. Step three, let go of distractions. Your mind is gonna wander. That is exactly what the mind does. If you find your mind focusing on something that is keeping you awake, intentionally focus on it, say, thank you, not now, and let it go. If it comes back up, don't get impatient. Just do the very same thing. Thank you, not now, let it go. And then focus again on relaxing, going further and further, just relaxing the body. Step four, shut up. What that means is, I don't know if, it, if you're like this, but for me, I have constant conversations, arguments, debates, uh, dreams that I talk about mentally, voices in my head, thoughts going on in conversation all the time. If I notice that, I just try and stop it. Now, it's not easy, but if I do it persistently, if I do it consistently, the thoughts begin to slow. So if you notice yourself thinking about something or engaging in some imaginary conversation, shut up. Step five, welcome visuals. What that means is, is once you have agreed you're gonna rest, once you have relaxed your body, once you've quieted the chattering of the mind, 
you'll begin to start to pay attention to the visual images that happen while you're beginning to go to sleep. This is often referred to as the hypnagogic state. Don't cling to it, just be aware of it, and if images show up, recognize them, but let them go. Now these could be images of mem memories, they could be a video game you recently played, it could be anything. Don't cling to it, just let it go. As you enter into this state, and you do it in this process, you start to go into a very pleasant dream-like state. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, you simply go through the whole process again. Now, as a caveat, I've been doing hypnosis for 20 years. I've been actually meditating, you know, intentionally sitting down and playing with my own head for nearly 40. So I may have a little more skill at this, but I'm really confident that if you practice it consistently, you're gonna get a result. And again, warning, this has worked successfully with a sample size of two people, but I'd love to hear your results. And likewise, if you have topics you want me to discuss or comment on, I'm more than happy to do that. Comments below, subscribe to my newsletter, make a point of also liking this video, sharing it to people who are relevant, uh, who find the content important. Appreciate it. We'll talk soon. Take care. Bye.